Hi there. Today we're going to take a look at the IDPA System Manager, which is Dell's easy-to-use interface for managing various backup-related operations in a data protection environment. Now, there are many different functions supported from here, but we're just going to focus on two time-saving features for today. The first feature is called Dashboards, and we're looking at that right now. And the dashboards are really a great place to get a quick readout on your backup environment. There are different widgets or tools available. Um, and you can actually choose which ones of the which uh, which of these widgets you want to appear on your screen. They're customizable on a per user basis. And you can get information such as number of uh, backups completed. You can get alerts. We don't happen to have any here, uh, but there's a variety of information. And you can actually click on any of the values here uh, and immediately be taken to screens, which will give you uh, deeper information on whatever it is. Uh, for the aspect that you happen to have clicked on. Now let's try clicking on this one, jobs completed. And it takes us to the job activities page and we can get more information just here in the rows and along the right, we get more details such as uh, start time, end time, duration, uh, the size, uh, which is exactly what we were looking for just with a click of the mouse. Now, as I mentioned before, these widgets can be customized. So for instance, if we're looking at this same one here, uh, we're getting data for the last 24 hours. Maybe I want to change that time range to the last seven days. So I can just click on the three ellipses, do that, and it'll switch it over to a different time frame. Now sometimes you might want to actually uh, modify a widget to be a completely different tool than what you have displayed. And again, to do that, you could just go up here and you can click on the widget actions uh, ellipses. And you come down here and you click on widget type. And you get the choice of all these different widgets that you can uh, use here instead of the one that's, that's showing right now. So maybe we want to see something on storage capacity, which I'll choose. And there you go. We haven't used much capacity, but again, a couple clicks, uh, we get a completely different piece of data to see. We're looking at storage capacity. So overall, the dashboards allow the user to quickly understand key aspects of their environment from a single screen. So the second feature we're going to take a look at, again, another time-saving one, is the search and recovery tool. Now, this tool allows users to quickly find and recover items directly from backup. Uh, there's no need to spin up an entire virtual machine or anything like that. You can actually go right into backup and with a couple of, you can uh, use the search engine to set up criteria to find what you're looking for. And then with a couple of clicks, you can restore it to the location you choose. So there are a lot of different ways to search for items. And the user can choose various criteria. For instance, you can search between two different dates. And you would just set them up right in here. You can search between two different backup dates. And again, you can just set those up right in here. You could search by name. Uh, it, and you can actually include strings. So let's say begins with, and you can type in a string of characters. That's another way to search. In addition to that, you can actually combine these various uh, filters for even more granularity for your search. So I could combine all of the different filters that I just showed you on an individual basis. So there's even another way to do it. There's also a search box up at the top. And this is good for quick finds. I mean, maybe you're looking to find a, something like a hotel receipt or something like that. Or maybe you're trying to find a PDF. Well, I can just type in PDF, let's say. And I can click on search. And there you go, it's, we have 120 results. It's bringing up the various PDFs I have. Uh, let's say I see, uh, I can start scanning down, see if I find the one I'm looking for. Let's say I say, oh, this is the one I want. I can just click on restore and it brings up a screen uh, where I can choose where I want to restore it. And within a couple of clicks, uh, I've got my item back again, directly from backup. So there are other features included with the 
IDPA system manager, such as running reports and more. Uh, but that's all we're, we have time for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Get more information, please visit Dell Technologies on the web. Thank you.